All right. Now, for this video, we're going to pose a question to my viewers and subscribers and supporters here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. Remember this? This is my big, beautiful Toshiba P750 satellite laptop Core i5 with the built-in H.264 DVB TV tuner card in it. This has also got this beautiful Harman and Kardon sound system in it. Let's see there, the HK speakers. Now, this had Windows 7 on it. The only problem is the hard drives finally spat the dummy, raised the white flag and basically given up the ghost and said, stuff you, that's it, I'm not running anymore. My question to my viewers is, now my original dedicated open man driver laptop has finally given up the ghost as well. I'm losing laptops rapidly at the moment. So regarding this laptop, do I A, install my beloved open man driver LX 4.2 or do I wait for 4.3 official? G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. My big beautiful Toshiba P750 Core i5 laptop. She's um, dead. The hard drive's finally spun down, doesn't want to boot up, raised the white flag and basically p 15 s off. Now, my Acer lap, my yeah, Acer or Zeus laptop that had Open Man Driver on it also has spat the dummy. I'm losing laptops rapidly at the moment, guys. My question to you, now this is this one with the built-in, this is for, you know, our old school 75 ohm RF leads that, you know, we still use here in Australia. We, we never really went to F-type properly. 75 ohm. Now, this is the one that has the built-in H.264 DVB T tuner card in it. I don't remember what it was there for a minute, but it can receive H.264, which effectively means here in Australia, I can get every TV station OTA, all right? So all the HD channels from Channel 2, HD from Channel 7 and a couple of others, HD from Channel 9 and HD from Channel 10, or anywhere else in the world I go where... We're using the old school male female 75 ohm plugs. Not too worried about the TV side of this because I believe there is a TV tuner system available from Open Man Driver. Now, this is a beautiful laptop. All right. And so my question to my viewers is this it is simply this. Do I put LX 4.2 on this, which is current, or do I wait, which I think is only about a month or two away, do I wait and put LX 4.3 on this? Now, you know the rules with the comments. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Um, uh, explain them anymore. I'm sick of, sick of explaining them. So you know the rules with the comments. So LX 4.2 or wait for LX 4.3. Put your comments, your responses down in the uh, comment section below and uh, we'll hopefully make our mind up about this in the coming days or so. There we go. I guess you could call it a little bit of an old mate's Q&A and advice video, but not really. Looking for ideas, I think we'll call this one. So let us know what you think. There we go. At this stage, that is it for weekend Saturdays here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. We might get another video. If I find something else to do today, I'll get a video out about it. Uh, oh, actually, I do have another video for you. I've just remembered, and I forgot to promote this in the weekend Saturday promo I uploaded earlier. I do have another video for you regarding the other half's car. I forgot about that. We do have another video, all right? So stick around for another video on the other half's car because this will annoy the holier than now know it all experts and I'm up for annoying them today, really annoying them. Let's just say for this, for the, for the other half's follow-up video, it's fixed. I'll explain in the video. Anyway, stick around. We'll catch you shortly. Have a good one.